Hey everybody, Sean Sewell with Engagement.com here. We're doing a review on the Zoom heart rate variability fitness tracking device right here. That's this little watch right here. And similar in size to a lot of Fitbits and other fitness trackers out there. Comes with this band right here. Also has accessories that will go around a forearm or even around your ankle or upper arm. Those are available separately. And we've tested those both out and we have pics below of those. And uh, they're very versatile. I opted for the watch right here. And um, I have a face on the inside to get better um, tracking of my heart rate and pulse right here. Uses the typical green laser that you probably see on other devices, like Apple Watch and stuff like that, to track metrics that are actually really valuable for fitness and general well-being. So yes, it does do calories, does do steps, does do um, heart rate, tracks your sleep, most of the typical things other ones will do. What this is really cool for is heart rate variability. And I won't go into the science of what heart rate variability is, but basically heart rate variability is how well recovered your parasympathetic system is to handle stress, whether it's physically, emotionally, or um, mentally. So that means you uh, did a great workout and you wanna do another workout the next day. You would track each day your heart rate variability using this device. Prior to this, you would use like a heart rate strap across your chest and then do it every morning when you wake up to get a baseline of what your heart rate variability is so you can best program your training indicator to uh, your recovery. So you use this device here, simple. You just push it um, two times and then it sends a signal to the app on your phone or on your tablet and it counts down for three minutes, giving you a very accurate, consistent heart rate variability. So I will show you what that looks like. So we have it on our iPhone here. And this is the app right here. That's your home screen. That's my metrics for today. So my heart or my heart rate variability is 81 out of 100. So 81, that's pretty much very recovered. So I'm capable of going out and doing whatever I want. So I did a nice kettlebell workout today. And in that workout, it was 30 minutes long. In that workout, that can't be right, 2,000 calories. In that workout, I believe it was 1,000 calories. There we go, right there. That's the calorie screen. And this is cool. My heart rate for the day, resting heart rate, 59. Usually it's around 55, sometimes a little bit lower. And that's, you want it to be lower is good. Peak was 159 during the workout. And then so the average was 95. Usually my heart rate is a lot lower than that's in the 60s and such when uh, training is good. Also tracks, as you can see, steps and distance. I'm on vacation right now. <laughs> We're in Glenwood Spring, so been a nice lazy day. It's not a lot of steps. This is a really cool metric. Besides the sleep, which I didn't use it for sleep last night, it tracks blue light. Now we'll have a little link on the article on what blue light is and why it's so important. Um, there's a lot of theories out there on what blue light is good for and mostly what it's not good for circadian rhythm and other things like that. So we'll tackle that in the written part below. But overall, just wanted to give you a visual of how easy this app is to use, the different screens. Um, I did this heart rate variability after the workout just to show you the difference. So you saw before it's in the 80s, it's only 40 after the workout. So obviously I would not work out again because it is <laughs> it's in the red, so that's bad. So uh, very cool metric. And again, even if you're not exercising um, hardcore, it's a good tool to see how you're your body, your system is dealing with stress. So um, maybe you have a big workload and you're working long days or got kids or whatever the stress is, it's a good way to track those metrics and see if you can get more rest, or if you need to do some more meditation, more nutrition, whatever angle it is you get to recover. Um, it's nice to have these metrics. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, hopefully it wasn't too much jargon. I guess it's Sean Zwolf and with the Zoom heart rate variability fitness tracker. We'll have links below on where to purchase. Until then, take care.